So today I'm at Metropolis Studios uh, and working with some amazing artists. One amazing, particularly notable guy I've met today, his name is James Barlow. Check him out on Instagram, he's really, really special. And we just had an opportunity to hear his music, see what he does, look at his lyrics and his amazing kind of journey with his musicianship. I see a lady, she's walking out of town Know the time in the rough, but out his mouth Know the day in the shadows gone by now She's at the end of the road I love his approach. He's taken so many different directions. He's tried a bit of dance, some drum and bass, and also this amazing kind of acoustic music that he comes out with. Honestly, he's something to really watch and someone who can really speak about some of the darker parts of life. It takes talent. So yeah, I'm really excited to have met him. We're looking at how to get him connecting to his songs a little bit more, how to kind of make sure that they're authentic in every moment. Cause if I'd ever tell you how I feel Cause if I did I'd make a bid To bring you home As if I'd know Yeah, so much like regret and turmoil in this chorus, I love it yeah. Like as in I love the I love what it says about us, you know, obviously it's a heartbreaking story, so yeah. I don't love that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so today I was lucky enough to come in and work with John O. McNeil, who ran through a couple of my original songs, gave me all the advice and his um, Penny for Thought, which was absolutely brilliant. Really professional guy, really understanding guy as well. He understood my art and, and helped me explore it in the way that I would want to. So I've had a great day. Mentoring is important, especially in my personal journey, because it is the way that I have connected with the professionals that I need to see. Particularly Marwan has put me through to a lot of people that have given me a lot of really valuable advice. So let yourself be calm enough to notice. If you're a people observer, oftentimes you're invisible in the room, kind of doing it from a quiet. I want you to tame everything down, your physicality. Let's get rid of the arm. I just want you to, to almost let yourself be still okay. inside, internally and externally, but also just kind of see those things. See that lady walking down the road. Okay, yeah. What's she up to? Oh, what she thinks. You know, like be observational. Like, how would you be in this? Take away the performance of okay. it. I see a lady, she's walking out in hands, town hands, hands, right. Know the time in the rough poured out his mouth Know the day in the shadows gone by now She's at the end of the road some people like to know what the difference between learning vocals is in comparison to learning an instrument. Um, and actually there is a lot of things that do cross over. It's, they're both musical kind of approaches and learning how to be musical is a definitely a process of developing your ear and developing your skill. I guess one of the things that makes vocals really unique is that it's integrated into your body. The actual instrument is you. So what we end up trying to do as singers is we have to learn our bodies. We have to learn how we can respond to the sound that's coming out of our mouths. We learn how to kind of find different textures and to manipulate it a little bit to make the song come out in its way. Um, but a lot of the time I'm saying to singers, we need to get out of the way of our voices. A lot of the time singers are working too hard or maybe that they're trying to impose things that maybe aren't all that natural for them. Sometimes it's about stripping things back, seeing what that voice does when it is in a lovely environment of movement and freedom and ease um, and seeing what comes out of people then. There is a little bit of training that's needed as well, like you need to get those ears really good, you need to get your attention to detail really good, you need to be able to get accuracy of pitch and rhythm and you need to be able to work with lots of different styles. Every single genre comes with a kind of new set of skills and so it's about learning those kinds of things, those approaches and then adding it to your repertoire and of course the more you have in your bank account the more you can withdraw when the time comes. ECM is challenging me every day as a professional to one, keep up with work that we have to do, but two, to also keep up with stuff that I want to do towards my career. So content, writing music, performing, gigging, all of that is, is pushed by ACM and it's constant. And that's what the industry really is. It's a constant moving cognitive sort of experience really. It's just really great to connect with him and I look forward to seeing what everyone else thinks of James Barlow. He's definitely one to watch. I'm having fun